Hello, everyone. This is Karen. Hey, everybody. This is Shane. Today we're looking at part one of walking on the sky in Bolivia, and the vocabulary words are declare. Declare. The judges declared Thomas the winner of the game. Float. Float. Harold's boat floated slowly down the river. Contrast. Contrast. Anne's personality is in sharp contrast to her younger sisters. Landscape. Landscape. Josh looked out at the beautiful landscape from the comfort <gasps> of his train seat. Wow.、Aww. Background. Background. Mel took a photo of his girlfriend with palm trees in the background. Wow, that sounds so romantic. Yeah, well, we are talking about a place that's very beautiful and romantic today. And a great place to take pictures. That's right. right. Have you ever been to Bolivia? I have not, and I have not been to South America. And one reason is because、uh, I'm afraid it's a little bit dangerous in South <gasps> America. Well, you know what? what? Bolivia is one of the safest country to visit in South America. Sounds like a good place to visit. So,、yeah. how about the Salar de Uyuni? <gasps> Sala de Uyuni is very, very beautiful,、oh. and it's a great place to take pictures because it's like a salt flat, and then on、yeah. rainy days, and then it will flood,、yeah. so you can see like on the ground, the surface is kind of like a mirror,、yeah. and it, it reflects the sky, it's the cloud and the blue sky. Yeah, the photos are amazing. Looks、yeah. like you're just walking in the clouds. It's like you're floating.、Oh, it's、so、very beautiful.、Cool. And the other beautiful place to visit. Is Laguna, Colorado? Yeah. Colorado, sorry, yeah. Laguna,、Spanish. Colorado. <laughs> I'm not very good at Spanish. Yeah, and that has like a really. It's also a salt lake, but、yeah. it's only like one meter deep. That's pretty shallow. And it's very red. So the contrast between this red sea and this beautiful blue skies. Amazing pictures again. It's like you're living in a fairy tale. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of natural beauties to take in there. Yeah, it's beautiful and it's safe. What are we waiting for? No, let's learn more. Let's go. Walking on the sky in Bolivia. Bolivia is one of South America's safest countries and surprisingly one of its least visited. Queen Victoria may be to blame. As she once crossed the country off a map and declared that Bolivia does not exist. That being said, don't let her opinion keep you from visiting this beautiful country. Today's lesson is called "Walking on the Sky in Bolivia." Part one. Hi everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. Yes, we're going to beautiful South America, to the country of Bolivia. This is not one of the more well-known tourist destinations, but many places in South America are getting more and more visitors、mm -hmm. as people become more and more curious about this part of the world, and also, I think, as many of the more popular places to go, like Rome or. Paris, France, become busier and busier. People are looking for some places that aren't wall to wall with tourists, and Bolivia would be a great choice. Yeah, South America and Central America have gotten a bad rap. Some people mistakenly think that this part of the world is extremely dangerous. Well, folks, Bolivia is quite a safe. Place. Yes, Bolivia is one of South America's safest countries, and surprisingly, one of its least visited. So,、mm. head to Bolivia. There you go. Yeah, a lot of people might visit places like Brazil or Argentina. I know Chile is very popular, but Bolivia is not one of the more popular places. It says here, Queen Victoria. May be to blame, as she once crossed the country off a map and declared that Bolivia、uh, does not exist. Wh why? Well, I think this was back when a lot of these countries were becoming independent, and Queen Victoria, as head of the British Empire, was trying to grab as much land as possible. So when some local Bolivian said, "We have a new country," she was kind of like, "No, you don't, because I say you do not exist." 
or something like she, that. that. That's quite the declaration. That's exactly what she sounded like, mm. by the way. Yes, she declared this. She made a declaration. When you declare something, you basically say it publicly, loudly, with confidence, and it's kind of like an announcement. You want everyone to know. You might say it because it's meaningful. It's important. You're making history. You're setting out a new law, something like that. For example, the judges declared Thomas. The winner of the game. This was an important announcement. They picked a winner, and it was Thomas. Anyways, Queen Victoria declared,、mm. Bolivia does not exist,、mm -hmm. but it does exist, it and does. it is awesome. Yeah. That being said, forget Queen Victoria and all that stuff. That being said, don't let her opinion keep you from visiting this beautiful country. Yes, do visit beautiful Bolivia. All right, everyone. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这次要介绍的国家是 Bolivia， 玻利维亚。玻利维亚位于南美洲。那 Joe 老师在开场的时候有提到说，有些人以为去中南美洲是很危险的，但这其实是不实的指控。老师刚刚用到 bad rap。这不是指很烂很糟的饶舌乐哦 ，bad rap 是指不实的坏名声。好，那么课文提到说，玻利维亚是南美最安全也是最少人造访的国家之一。那过去。维多利亚女王曾经在地图上划掉这个国家，还宣称说玻利维亚并不存在。可是这已经是一百多年前的事了，千万不要让维多利亚女王的意见阻止你造访这个美丽的国家哦。好，这边有一个单字 declare。Declare， 它是动词，表示宣称、表明或是宣布。那它的名词是去掉 e， 再加上 a t i o n， 变成 declaration， 表示宣称、宣告或是宣言。刚刚麦克老师谈到，很多人去南美洲可能会去巴西啊、阿根廷、智利等等，比较少人去玻利维亚。那我们就顺便学一下这些国家的名称。巴西是 Brazil， 阿根廷 Argentina。还有智利可以念作 Chile 或是 Chile。接回到课文中。Walking on the sky in Bolivia. Many people visit Bolivia to see the Salar de Uyuni, where you can walk on the sky. This place is actually a salt flat, which is a kind of desert covered in salt. During the rainy season, the salt flat floods, creating a surface like a mirror. Which makes it hard to tell where the sky ends and the Earth begins. Take a photo, and it will look like you are floating in space. All right, everyone. Today we are traveling to beautiful Bolivia. Yes, many people visit Bolivia to see the Salar de Uyuni. Where you can walk on the sky. Yes, you don't need to be Luke Skywalker to walk on the sky. Apparently,、oh, that's a bad one, Luke Skywalker. Oh, you like、Walking、Leia Skywalker? On the sky. All right. That wasn't her name. What are we going to find in Salar de Uyuni? This place is actually a salt flat. Which is a kind of desert covered in salt. So it's a very dry, flat area, and the ground is basically salt and maybe a, a few other minerals, types of little rocks. But it's very flat, very dry, very hot, and very salty.、Um, what do they do on salt flats? They often have car races, right? You can drive cars really fast. If it's in,、uh, in if California, it's open, if it's、that. open and flat, yes, it's, yeah, it's a good place to race cars. But basically, it's kind of like a desert. But During the rainy season, the salt flat floods, creating a surface like a mirror, which makes it hard to tell where the sky ends and the earth begins. So imagine the ground is basically a big flat mirror, and imagine what that would look like, and imagine how you could Instagram、It'll, yourself、um, from there. You'll feel like you're walking on the sky, and you'll look like it too. Yeah,、mm. take a photo, and it will look like you are. Floating in space, and you'll get many likes. I think now that the likes on Instagram are、mm -hmm. now being hidden, so I don't know about、oh, okay. that. But I do know what the verb "float"、mm -hmm. means. Very often, when people are talking about something floating, they're talking about something that doesn't sink. 
Okay, it's suspended on the surface of the water, like a ball filled with air will float on top of water, whereas a ball made out of lead will sink. Now, you can also float in the air, okay? A balloon will float in the air. It is suspended in the sky, so that's the idea here. You'll feel like you're floating in space. You're not, you're not flying up into the heavens and you're not sinking down, down, down. No, 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 you are floating in space. For example, Harold's boat floated slowly down the river. All right, with that, everyone, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be back after this. 玻利维亚有一个此生必去的景点，被大家称为天空之境。然后有人还把它描述成最像天堂的地方，这是什么地方呢？好，它其实叫做乌尤尼岩沼。很多人到玻利维亚就是为了观赏这个美的像天堂的自然景色。那课文提到说，这个地方是岩沼，是一种被岩覆盖的沙漠。在雨季的时候，岩沼会淹水，于是就创造出像镜子一样的表面。当天空映照在水面上就会完全美的不像话，就仿佛是在天空上行走。Chuck 老师还开玩笑说，就算你不是陆客天行者，来到这里你都可以在天空上行走哦。好，那么在这边拍照就会让人看起来好像是在太空中漂浮。单字 float。Float 就表示漂浮，那不管是在水上漂浮，或者在空中漂浮，都可以用这个字表达。好，那么文中的 salt flat 表示岩盘，它是指一片由岩或是矿物所铺成的矿地，常见于沙漠地带。那用在地名的时候，常常被称为岩沼或是岩湖，这时候意思就跟 salt lake 一样。接下课文中。Walking on the sky in Bolivia, another popular spot is Laguna Colorada. This otherworldly salt lake is only one meter deep, and its dark red color creates a jaw-dropping contrast against the deep blue sky. Although some claim the water is the blood of the gods, the blood red color is in fact caused by red sediments and algae. This stunning natural landscape also provides the perfect background to take in the area's population of rare flamingos. Okay, let's move on and learn about another popular tourist destination there in Bolivia. Yes, another popular spot is Laguna Colorada. Laguna Colorada, very interesting. Laguna Colorada. Let's find out about this place. This otherworldly salt lake is only one meter deep, and its dark red color creates a jaw-dropping contrast against the deep blue sky. Wow, these what, are a lot of salt lakes here in very Bolivia. Very dry and salty, but also amazing and otherworldly. Something reminds me of Utah. Yeah, definitely. Or、oh. parts of Death Valley, California,、mm. the, yeah, the the Bonneville Salt Flats、mm. in Utah. All of these places could be described as otherworldly. Something that almost looks like it's on an alien planet, like a place you'd go to and you'd feel like you're in a science fiction film, like you're walking on the surface of Mars or something like that. It is so weird and unusual. A very shallow salt lake. It's it's a dark red color, probably from the minerals,、mm -hmm. from the salt or something, and of course this creates a jaw dropping or incredible, amazing contrast against the deep blue sky. A contrast is basically two things that are in opposition, that are very very different, and because they are so different, they seem even more different. If you get an NBA player and then you stand that person next to someone who's actually quite short, Short, wow! The contrast would be much greater than if you had someone of average height next to an NBA player because he's so tall and the other person is so short. It makes their differences seem even greater. So you have this red water and the blue sky. It would be really red and really blue. The contrast makes it really come out. For example, Anne's personality is in sharp contrast. To her younger sisters, Anne talks all the time and loves to meet people. Her sister is so shy she won't even look people in the eye. There you go. Big difference. Anyways, moving on. Although some claim the water is the blood of the gods,、Ugh. the blood red color is in fact caused by red sediments 
and algae. Oh, so algae. it is not the blood of the gods. That's not the case at all. That's and there's good. and there's more. The stunning natural landscape also provides the perfect background to take in the area's population of rare flamingos. So flamingos. there you go. Flamingos. Flamingos really? in Bolivia. In South America? In South America. Huh. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the word landscape, okay? Let's say you go to a beautiful place in nature and you have a great view. You can be said to be taking in the landscape. Let's say you're on top of Taipei 101 and you're looking out over the city, you could say, oh, that's a cityscape. You're just taking a really nice view in of the city. But here, if you're in nature and not in the city, the word to use is landscape. It's a noun. For example, Josh looked out at the beautiful landscape from the comfort of his train seat. Mm. Yeah, he didn't have to move, just looked out the window there and boy, is nature ever beautiful. Yeah, probably mountains and maybe the sea right there. It was really, really lovely. Beautiful scenery. We mm. also would call that maybe scenery too if we're looking at it and it's attractive. We also have this word background. So the landscape provides a great background for your picture. The background is basically what is in the back or what is behind the main subject or the main thing in the picture, all right? If your friend is standing in front of a wall with a painting on it, that wall in the painting is the background. If you're standing on a beach and you're taking a photo out towards the sea, well, the ocean and the clouds and the sky would be the background. In the foreground, near the camera, will be your friends or whatever you're trying to take a picture of. Foreground would be F-O-R-E-G-R-O-U-N-D. So foreground is what's in the front, the background is what is behind the main thing, the main subject of the picture. For example, Mel took a photo of his girlfriend with palm trees in the background, showing that they're at the beach or in a warm country or something like that. He focused on his girlfriend though and not the palm oh, trees. Those are really nice palm trees. No, he focused on his girlfriend. Right. Yeah. There you go, folks. All right, with that, it is time for us to take a break. But don't worry, don't fret. We'll have more for you next time on Bolivia. Next Contrast 就可以表达差异或是对比或者是截然不同的事物。我们可以用 in sharp contrast 来表达鲜明的对比对照。好，那补充单字 otherworldly otherworldly 它是形容超自然的超脱世俗的或是非现实世界的 好，另外老师没有聊到美国犹他州的伯纳维尔盐滩，以及在加州死亡谷也都有盐滩。那我们就顺便学一下 Utah, Utah就是犹他州，还有 California, California表示加州。好，课文提到说，科罗拉达湖的血红颜色是红色沉积物和水藻所造成的。那么这样令人赞叹的自然景观也提供了欣赏当地稀有红褐品种的完美背景。好，我们的单字landscape，landscape它是指风景、自然景色，通常是指陆地上的风景。好，那么把land改成city变成cityscape，cityscape表示都市
be to blame. 第二个是 as 做连接词表示因为。第三个是 cross off。第四个是 that being said。第五个是使役动词 let 的用法。第六个是 keep somebody or something from 加上动词 ing。我们先来学 be to blame. Blame 做动词是指责怪、怪罪，或是将什么什么归咎于。那么 be to blame 就表示什么什么应该受到责备，什么是罪魁祸首。前面可以用人或是事物来当主词，表达某人或某事物应该要为后果来负责。那 be to blame 后面可以再接 for something 来表达事由。所以 somebody or something be to blame for something。就表示某人或某事物应该为什么来负责？什么什么是某人或某事物所引起、所造成的？例如 ，Who is to blame for this problem？ 这个问题该归咎于谁呢？这个问题是谁造成的呢？谁是罪魁祸首，应该要负责呢？好，接着我们来学 as 做连接词，它可以指因为、由于，意思就跟 because 一样。例如。We should leave at ten, as there will be little traffic at that time. 我们应该十点出发，因为那时候车流量会比较小。接着我们来学 cross off。片语动词 cross off 就表示把什么划掉。Cross somebody or something off 什么什么，就是说把某人或某事物从什么什么划掉、删除。举例来说 ，He crossed Kyle's name off the list. 他把 Kyle 的名字从名单上面划掉了。好，那接着来学。That being said. That being said, 它是指尽管如此，即便这样。那其中的 that 指的是前面所叙述的事情。That being said 通常用来对比两件事，表达说尽管前面这么说，话虽如此，但接下来要说的也很重要。举例来说 ，The diet plan can help you lose weight. That being said, exercise is important too. 这个饮食计划可以帮助你减重，但话虽如此，运动也是很重要的哦。好，那接着我们来学使役动词 let 的用法。Let 三态同形，当使役动词的时候，它表示让或是允许，它的受词补语要用原形动词，所以它的用法就是 let 加受词加原形动词。举例来说。My brother won't let me use his new computer. 我哥哥不会让我用他的新电脑。<笑>小气鬼。好，最后我们来学 keep somebody or something from 加上动词 ing。动词 keep 它有阻止、妨碍的意思。我们常常会用 keep 某人或某事物 from 动词 ing 来表达阻止某人怎么样，防止某事物怎么样。举例来说 ，the heavy rain kept them from going hiking. 大雨让他们没有办法去践行。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。我们今天的主题什么？啊啊好啊！让我考虑一下，虑考虑一下。哇，这个好难哦！我现在就是就是呃，美国人要说虑那个哦，虑那个虑这个现在很难啊。Chinese is hard too, not just English, okay? Yeah, Chinese is really hard. But 我们可以进入对话了吗？让我考虑一下。算了啦，我们进入对话。Can I borrow some money? I want to buy tickets to a concert. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let me sleep on it. Oh, 才区区几块，为什么不借我嘞？嗯，借一下不行啊。No, I slept on it. Okay.
<笑> ？Answer is no. Okay. So, actually, you need to make a calculation when you go to sleep. Then you will get the answer. No. Let me sleep. I need time. Can you come tomorrow and ask me? Ah, okay. Then the answer is no. Is it no? Okay. Or you could say. Let me mull it over. Oh, mull. This word actually has the meaning of carefully considering. But mull is usually said like this, right? Yes. You won't say let me mull. I'm going to mull. You just say let me mull it over. So you have to follow the sentence. Yes. This is an idiom expression. Or this one is easy. Let me think about it. Ah, let me think about it. I think about it. Let me think about it. Yeah. Okay. So, do you、uh, have any problems saying stuff in English ever? Do you?、Uh, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe they do too. What can they do? Oh, that's、mm. how we met. Just right. Let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. Let me mull it over. Let me mull it over. Let me think about it. Let me think about it. Let me think about it.